Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Uh, today we're back in the DCS World Mission Editor and today I'm going to show you how we can uh, set up an AI cap uh, called my Air Patrol that's going to then go out and uh, engage any hostile threats that will pop up. Okay, So here we are on the Marianas Island map, uh, lovely map. So let's go ahead and select our aircraft that we want to be able to perform the cap. Now today I'm, I'm going to use, I fancy using the, uh, the F-14, so let's go ahead and use that, shall we? And let's go ahead here and place him on the map. Um, now I'm going to change him from intercept to cap. It's important because uh, it dictates how uh, the, the aircraft will operate. There's like a set of um, rules that are attached to a cap task. So we'll go ahead here and give him some uh, give him some weapons. What do we fancy? What do we fancy? It could be anything really, I suppose. Let's just go with them, shall we? Why not? Yeah, let's go with that. That looks better. Okay. And let's have him up at uh, 25,000 feet. Yeah, 430 knots, which is fine. And let's have him, let's just create our waypoints where we're going to have him orbiting. Okay, so we're going from 1 uh, to waypoint 2. So let's go back to waypoint 1. And you've seen this in one of my other videos, I'm sure, the uh, AI tanker setup where we can set up an orbit. And we're going to have a racetrack. 430 knots, 25,000 feet. And they're going to have him going around for uh, 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do is, rather than just having uh, the hostile threat there on mission start, the, the aircraft will just go ahead and engage it. I don't want that to happen. I want to start and simulate a cap so the aircraft's going to be sat there orbiting and then a threat's going to pop in and he's going to go kill it. Okay, so let's now select our hostile aircraft. Uh, in fact, before we do that, let's just jump through that. So we've got our F-14, it's going to fly to waypoint 1, gets to waypoint 1, it's going to fly in orbit whilst performing a cap. Cap mission. And he's going to do that for 45 minutes, and then after that, he'll probably just return back to base and land. Let's go ahead and select our threat. It's always a Russian. Uh, let's have. Uh, yeah, let's use the SU 30 mod. Why not? I've got it. Might as well use it. Uh, Notice I've not actually flown this mod, um, but it's, it does look pretty good. So let's give him some weapons. And, uh, won't give him much because I purposely want him to be shot out of the sky. And let's go ahead here and let's put him at 20,000 feet at 430 knots. And he's just going to come screaming through. Now, like I said, I don't want him to just come in straight up the mission at the mission start because the, the RF-14 will just go ahead and kill him. So let's go ahead and make him a late activation. And uh, we'll come across to the triggers. New trigger. And if this I want him after, I'll, I'll have him pop in after 15 minutes. So time is more than 900 seconds, which is 15 minutes. And then uh, group activate. And we want to activate aerial 2. Okay. So now let's go ahead and jump in. And let's see what happens. Okay, so here's our F-14. What you should do now, you should be steaming away to waypoint one. I'm just going to speed this up. And uh, he'll now begin his cap. I'm going to do his weird little routine to get him in line. There we go. Flying to waypoint between waypoint one and two. Hit waypoint two, and now he's turning back. And now we're just coming up to 15 minutes of game time now. And then our hostile aircraft should spawn in. Let me see here. Can we? No, yeah, it doesn't do that noise. There we go. There's our SU 30s now spawned in. Now Tomcats picked him up, probably on the RWR. And now he's turning and burning and going to go get him. So. Hopefully you should go and kill him. Tank's gone. Yep. You can see the missile's fired. Boom. Nailed. Gone. 
And that's how we set up an AI cap so that our aircraft can go and interrogate targets. Now we can also change the rules slightly so that our aircraft doesn't um, always just go ahead and kill anything that moves. What we can do is we can add a condition here and uh, set the rules of engagement so that it's only uh, say return fire so if you only want uh, our F-14 to return the fire once our hostile aircraft has engaged us we can do that so it, there's different ways you can play about with it so it doesn't always just go and kill everything straight away uh, but that's for you to play about with uh, I hope you found this video, tut uh, video tutorial useful if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below and I'll try to respond to you if I can as always please like and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out until next time, thank you.